If you are building your DV website header using the theme builder, you may find that the standard menu module doesn't include any hover effects apart from the text color change. So on my blog on the DV Lover website, I just shared a few different CSS snippets you can copy and paste to add that nice animated underline hover effect to your menu items. And in this video, I will show you how extremely easy it is to customize and how you can make sure it will work with any type of menu you have as long as you are using menu module within the builder. So no plugins and super simple copy and paste ready-made solution. Hi, my name is Anya and my goal here is to help you build beautiful websites. In this short video, I'm going to explain how you can use the CSS code I shared on my blog to create almost unlimited number of hover styles on your navigation. So let me show you how it works. I wrote seven different CSS snippets with different underlying hover animation. And this works well, but the problem with writing CSS code for the DV menu module is that it may look differently depending on the size of our menu. If you look at this example, I have three different menu modules, each with the same CSS class. Each one is using my CSS hover underline, but position of the line is different. If your menu module do not have a logo image added, your links are smaller, even if you add more padding here, like I did, and changing the logo size also changes the link size, which changes the position of the underline. So to make it super easy for you so that you can edit it without worrying about the details of the CSS code, I used three variables which you can set and change to match your menu design and size. So in addition to changing the bottom offset, which is here to position the line and make it pixel perfect, you can also change the height of the line and obviously a color. Once you change these values here, you don't need to do anything else. Just copy and paste the snippets with the animation you like. And here on the demo page, you can see that by changing these three values, you can achieve many different visual effects. The underline doesn't need to be a line. It can look more like a button. You can position it above or below the menu items. You can make it your own. And to make it super fun and easy, I also created this simple page layout for you. So as you see here, I have listed all these different seven different um, menu modules with corresponding CSS classes added. And at the top here, there is a code module and you can quickly preview how your uh, hover effect will look with different variables here. So let's say that instead of five pixel line, I would rather have 35 pixel Okay, so this works well. I don't need to even change the offset. I could, if that would be a bit narrower, I could move it further up the to uh, to the top, right? So something like that. And then quickly see how would that look with different uh, hover styles. Or maybe instead of that um, button style, I could use like this delicate um, sort of overlapping underline, like something like that, maybe a bit smaller. So you can quickly see different um, styles right here. And once you are happy with one of the hover styles here, you can either copy that uh, menu module or add corresponding class to your own menu module. If I would like to use that uh, hover effect, I would need to add DL menu style to CSS class to my menu module. And then I would copy my variables and the CSS bit with the second, uh, the style number two and place that CSS code in theme options or inside my style sheet. 
So that is it. I hope you will find it helpful. Do let me know in the comments what you think. And I wouldn't be myself if I let you go without explaining the CSS part. Sure, some of you just need a quick copy and paste solution and this should work great. But I know that many of you would rather learn how to recreate this effect yourself and take control over the appearance and the animation style, customize it further. So if that sounds like you, stay tuned for my next video where I will explain how to recreate that type of hover effect with CSS step by step. Thank you for watching and see you next time.